Hey everybody, this is Billy. I'm doing the weekly Funko Pop review. This week I'm going to change things up. I'm going to tell you the difference, or actually show you the difference between a Funko Pop ride and a Funko Pop that looks like a ride. So stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. Uh, these are two key examples. At first glance, they both look like Funko Pop rides. But they are not. The, but the main difference between a Funko Pop ride and just a plain Funko Pop is this right here. The pop will come out. That is the difference between a Funko Pop ride and a Funko Pop itself. The wedge is part of the so speeder. He does not come out. That is one major, diff major one difference between the two. The other difference is it'll actually say on the box. See how it says pop. Not pop ride, but pop. And just like with Wonder Woman's, this says the invisible jet. There we go. The invisible jet with Wonder Woman. This is the pop itself. The pop is the rock. Here's another example of Ant-Man and Anthony. Of a Funko Pop and this and a ride. Which this one I will be doing a review on here soon because it is so cool. See it says Anthony. Anthony. But I want to just clarify the difference between the two and this is the actual pop that I'm going to review today it is actually a really cool pop I love this pop it was the first one I ever got as a ride I got it for Christmas from my friend a couple years ago I love the classic Wonder Woman that comes with it she's got the little she got the lasso down there ah, and she's like drunk I guess oh no she's not used to standing without it She's got nice little peg holes in there, which I don't think any other pops have peg holes. I mean, I got some right here. Let me look. Oh, look at Oliver Queen. Nope, they do not have peg holes. So not all pops are compatible with these. Hmm. Oh, you just lay there. I like the Invisible Jet because it actually comes in pieces. And completely disassembled. It doesn't look that big. But it, it was very, it is, like I just showed you, it's very simple to put together. Just slides back in. Put the cockpit in. Put it back on its nice little spit, nice, nice little stand. And wiggle her back in there. Get back in there. Oh, now she wants to be stubborn. She's like, no, don't stick me back in. Help me. Well, you know what? Since you don't want to go in the co cooperate like that, we will stick you in like this. And see, this is what I love about the invisible jet, because you can just line it up underneath, and she has no choice. Just like that. And she, her head bobbles, or not bobbles, but is articulate to some degree, because if her hair gets away, but her arms don't move. The jet itself, I like. I like it. I'm really cool. I haven't really explored with it or anything like that. I kind of got it. I took it straight out the box. Oh, and my other stuff is falling over. Harley's oh. photobombing us over there. <laughs> but, yeah, this is one of my favorite. One of my favorites. It'd be cooler if she actually sat down in it. But I still love it. And just to give a little bit of history uh, of the Invisible Jet, it made his first appearance in the All-Star Comics number 8 being able to shown over to fly over 2,000 miles per hour. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Its first appearance was Sensational Comics number 1 in January 1942. So, it's it's fairly old jet. It looks pretty good for uh, not being able to see anything. Makes me wonder what it actually runs off of. Hmm. 
Ah, see, I got my facts confused. Diana Prince, aka Wonder Woman, made her first appearance in All Star Comics number eight in October of 1941. That's what happens when I don't pay attention to my own stuff. But she's from Them Mascara, which, if you've seen the new movie, which I'm going to be doing a review on those pops here soon as well the Wonder Woman and Aries pops. So stay tuned, make sure to hit that like button, feel free to leave comments below, and have a good one.